Hello and welcome to your EastEnders spoiler cast for the week beginning the 28th of September. The day has finally arrived for Stuart and Rainey to get married. Of course, this wouldn't be an EastEnders wedding if something didn't go wrong. Not only does Rainey have a mishap with her wedding dress, but poor old Stuart ends up being locked in a hearse. Will Stuart get to the church on time? Or have the EastEnders writers just found a genius way to do a socially distanced wedding? We also have Mick come across Frankie's camera and sees photos of Ollie on there. Seemingly unbothered by them, he tells her she should delete them just in case Linda gets worried about privacy. Later in the week, Kathy, being a Bill, has set a task for Frankie to bring in some extra money for the Albert, so Frankie arranges a drag bingo night and offers Mick an evening shift to work. On the night, Mick is joined by Linda, Sharon and Max all creating a team for the bingo. And later on, Max spots Linda drinking and confronts her. So has poor old Linda fallen off the wagon already? Our old mate Danny Hardcastle is back and trying to cause trouble for poor little Callum this week when he spots him doing some paperwork. Danny then has the audacity to go and tell Phil that he thinks Callum is a grass. I'm sorry Danny, but who was it singing like a canary a few weeks ago all about Ben Mitchell? Ian has his eye on business as usual this week when he's trying to use his contacts to arrange a big catering deal. But once again, Max rushes in during the meeting and starts accusing Ian of stealing his money and ruining his life. It's not that untrue, is it? Later in the week, Bobby tells Max about wanting to start up a charity in Lucy's name and when Ian and Kathy decide to update their wills, Ian gets a bit of a shock at what Kathy has written down in hers. Isaac has been suspended from school after Amy accuses him of doing drugs and when he confronts her in the square calling her a liar, Jack quickly steps in and loses his temper. Jack's short fuse is all down to the fact that Denise has been acting suspicious around him and he now thinks that she's having an affair. And finally we have Grey who turns up to the Taylor flat just at the wrong time because he walks in on Karen and Mitch about to kiss. With that little bit of information stored, will it be enough to keep Mitch quiet and off Grey's back? Or will Grey go straight to Billy and let him know exactly what Mitch and Karen have been up to? And there you go, there was your spoilers for the week beginning the 28th of September. And if you've enjoyed this, remember we also do a review of the whole week of EastEnders every Sunday. So make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and pop a comment below and let me know what you're most looking forward to this week.